the heart and souls in Jesus' name. Again, Brian Hewitt of Morningstar Communication Network, MCM Ministries. We are a blessed church here at the 501c3 certified church here in the United States. And I'll give you some update. Uh, my beautiful wife, Anita, she's doing well, going through the blessings of the God of healing, getting still, staying focused on the Word of God. She's joining us in our outer studio here today. It's kind of just praying and praying in the Spirit as we preach to you, Jesus and company and everybody here involved with the MCM Ministries, our missionary teams in over a dozen plus countries. So we thank you for your prayers and support. We thank you for the love that you're sending to my beautiful wife, Anita Hewitt, in Jesus' name. Brethren, we are going to be speaking, speaking of the elegance and the changes that God brings us to his, to his path and to his glory. We're going to be speaking of standing on the Word of God. Our foundation scripture is like a little bit of a history lesson, John 1.1. 1, 1. So let's put our finger in John 1. Let's go before the throne of God in prayer. And grab the clean sheet of notebook paper. Amen. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your truth. How you have set us all free by putting us on the road of grace that puts us on the straight and narrow. But many are caught off you are chosen. We thank you for this healing of the, through the word of God. We thank you for the power and the love as we lift up our prayers and repentance of this day, this evening, upon the AM hours of Africa and the Asian Europe. We lift up in the unity of the Holy Spirit of one mind and one judgment of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And you're going to hear a, a beautiful voice saying, Hallelujah, once in a while. Praise the Lord. That's our Anita getting stronger and healthier and wealthier in the name of Jesus. Let's go right into John 1.1, 1, 1, our foundation scripture. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God Himself. We have, as in the beginning, when all was void, before God created the light and light, and the man and the earth, and the seas and the mountains and the glory and the beauty. Before any man sin started to corrupt and pollute this footstool called earth we walk on, there was God. Now God, as we spoke of this morning in the service broadcast about change, God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yet as we polluted our own existence with the ways of sin, and much thanks to Adam and his partner Eve, we go into understanding that we, as Christ came to this earth to die for our sins, to preach the elegance of the poetry of beautiful salvation and parables, that rose again from, to the kingdom of heaven to sit at the right hand of his Father God. God commands change from each and every one of us. In the beginning, yes, our seed was there in the beginning. But what God has a plan, He has provisions, and the our Garden of Eden did not cease to exist when Adam and Eve were thrown out of it. That Garden of Eden was turned into at Christ's resurrection, I mean, His, his birth, crucifixion, resurrection, the Garden of Eden was placed inside of your heart, birthed when you turned your life over to God. I will delight myself in your statues. I will not for forget your word. Psalms 119, verse 16. Stand on that word of God. That is your foundation. That is going to remove all your tribulations so you can experience a joy, hope, faith, and love. We come into this attitude of the gratitude of the loving truth. It gives us the strength and the confidence to go forward and outward and outward. Lord, take us, love us for yours. Bring us to your mountaintop, bring us to your valleys, and bring us over some more back up to the mountaintops. Your word is now laid upon all of our hearts that I might not sin against you. Your word have I laid upon up in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalms 119, verse 11. The word of God acts as a hedge of protection around us. The, the sword of the Spirit walking into, into the Spirit and into the truth, walking into the majesty of His strength, seeing the light, seeing the vision, seeing the manifestation slowly revealing itself. 
The living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. Every word of God is tried and purified. He is, he is a shield by those who trust and take refuge in him. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Those of us who rebel against, I don't need God. God needs me. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Let's be real. I'm dismissing all pride and arrogancy from these people that have come across my path and are still living such a lifestyle. Feel the healing of God's powerful hand giving you a, a vision of the choices of your destiny, the choices of your eternity. There's no middle ground here. Because if you want to be a, living a lukewarm lifestyle, I guarantee you tonight, right now, this minute, Jesus will spit you out. And Sinai, you are gone. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Just jot these down. You can always pray over them when we're complete here. For, word, for the word of God, that, for the word that God speaks is alive and full of power. And is sharper than any two-edged sword penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, spirit and of joints and marrow, exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of of the heart. God has given you a new heart. You've gone through the many phases of your praises. The whelp, the lion, the lioness. You have your own flag of, of, of being that warrior prophet, prophetic warrior, waving inside and all over you. The flow of the blood of Jesus, his blessings is flowing in you. Now it's flowing out of your heart and out of your lips because God has blessed you with that new heart. God has walked you over many a river change into the new life of Jesus Christ. God, you are now standing on the word of God. You are now standing in the absolute truth. The Lord take us, love us for yours. Oh, we see over 200 plus countries on the news every day, oh God creating civil war upon themselves, upon the lust of just having the power to take another person's life for no reason. These are not leaders, these are thugs. These are not leaders, these are rapists. These are criminals. Lord, before the ways of men assassinates them or takes them down, expose them of their sin and just annihilate them. Expose their sins and let their own sins then destroy them. In Jesus' name. We have to look at the, the CEO, the CFO, the general, the commander of our strategic warfare and our lives, and that's God. We fight the fight of good faith. We don't have to raise a weapon to anybody because we have the word of God. We are standing on the word of God. We're not out to hurt anybody, but to forgive and love everybody. We cannot, when Jesus taught us in Galatians 5, 22, 23, and yes, I say this a lot, but hearing is receiving, but is hearing done. All nine of these cylinders have to be working in the unity of the Holy Spirit. It's not like one per day, all nine per day for your entire life. Must, they must be living, they must be breathing, they must be blessed and anointed every day by your prayers and repentance and yes, yes, yes. We must forgive everybody. We must forgive all of those around us. We must go into each other's life and bring that powerful change to you right now. Any elements of each time, they come into God's time. God is always on time, even though we might be late for our date. God has been around us, before us, but at the same time, God is not going to come knocking you down like a linebacker taking down a, a fullback to get your attention. He's already got your attention. 
Is there any place one guarantee on your table that's his son, Jesus Christ? God loves you enough to create you. He had a son die for you to forgive you of your sins. He had a son remove the Old Testament law that nobody could live by. And, and at his birth, at his teachings, it gave the entire world grace. Grace. Dear Lord, we lay our hearts before you. You are the reasons why we live from the secrets of our hearts. And in this magnitude of the beautiful truth that the God gives us, the wisdom of the discernment. But we must pray the prayer of what Solomon, the prayer that Solomon never said. Is that God, I want to know you ever some more every day, stronger than I knew you yesterday. Then bless me with all your wisdom and discernment. We want to live a full life, and that means as we get in our 70s and 80s, a full life, not just like five years, six years, but I had one good year out of those 20 years. Hey, that's nice to hear. Thank you. But I'm moving on without you. And that's part of your victory testimony. You will, like I did, like Anita have, is that you'll have people that you care for try to drag you down because they're still in the same old, same old from 20, 30 years ago. And they say that you've changed so much, it's because they haven't changed one dime. And they want to be a distraction to you, but you keep on walking and don't turn back. As cruel as that may sound, it's the truth. But as you stand in the Word of God, the more you stand in the Word of God, the more you hear and read and teach and sing of the Word of God, you'll understand what your soul has been saying for a number of years. The truth is the most unpopular subject in the world to have a conversation about or to listen to. Yes, some people take time, take turns listening to the truth, and as well as taking turns of when to speak of the truth. And we come into this time, like in a soccer game, are we off sides? Why can't we score the goal when I'm off sides? Who is to tell me what to do? We cannot lead ourselves in the battle before God. Let God lead us. God's going to fight the battle for us. We just fight the fight of good faith. We back up our faith with works. We stand on the living word of God. On the living word of God right now. Sing to us, O God. Sing us the truth. Psalms 119, verse 18. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Your law. Verse 15 the same Psalm 119. I will meditate on your precepts and have respect to your ways. The path of life is marked out by your law. Brethren, God gives us the path of life, the road of grace that leads us to the straight and narrow where many are called or few are chosen. And there is no time stamp to come forward in the Lord if you don't know Christ. If you wish to know Christ, this moment's for you. Now, to those who are Christians, to those who are born again and want to get into ministry, well, we got a calling for you right now. Our next broadcast is at 6 a.m. A lot of our listeners are from Russia, in, in, uh, Europe, um, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Middle East. Then the United States is like the fourth, third or fourth country. Canada is number four. I think the States is number five. Your job is to bring someone to the next service in front of your computer, your iPhone, your TV set. Your, your job is to bring at least out of the 20 some odd broadcasts we do per week, let's make it realistic, five unsaved people a week to these broadcasts. And we are doing our job, you are doing your job. The choice then becomes that individual creation, what she or she wants to do with her life. Romans 10.13 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God, I 
I, let's repeat this after me if you can please. Dear God, I am, a, I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Fill me and take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you, Father, for bringing me forward. Yes. yes. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I am lifting your name up. But most important, as we are speaking, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. And whether you are a bishop or minister, those who have been fallen into the adulterous lifestyles of the pathetic control of Satan, that's for you as well, to be recommitted. To put yourself into a fast and to cleanse yourself from all the evil spirits that have generated that. I cast out all demonic spirits from any stronghold of any bishop ministers in any areas of the world. In Jesus' name. We, I, Brian to you, had chose the way of the absolute truth some decades ago. I've made, my, I've made my mistakes. I had my backsliding moments, especially 13 years ago. And some of those backsliding moments, I had a great time. And just like you'll have a great time with your moments. But the moments, are hopefully, are in the past. We are now baptized by the blood of Calvary. We are, our sins have been thrown away to the sea of forgetfulness as we turned our life over to Christ. And that's simply. And loving God is not a complicated issue. It's not a problem. It is, embrace, it, is, it is an embrace. It is an embrace that stays with you no matter what the circumstances are around you. But let's not forget that God is always with us and embracing us at all times. And now we have another invitation for you. Anita and I, we want you to become partners into our ministry. We want you to travel with our crusades, be part of our missionary teams, be like a rock star traveling to all these countries and really lifting up the performance of the name of Jesus by proclaiming his living word of God, standing on the word of God, be part of our missionary teams, our medical team, our evangelical team, our translation team. We have it all here for you at BrianTewitt.com. Our full name of our church is Morningstar Communications Network, MCM Ministries, we are a 501c3 certified church here in the United States. We thank you for the loving truth. We thank you for the substance of the forgiveness of your sins. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. We love you, brothers and sisters. We love in the sincerity of the truth of everything that we have. In Jesus' name. Let's go to Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. Every scripture is God-breathed and profitable for instruction, for reproof and conviction of sin, for, cor for correction of error and discipline in, in obedience and for training in righteousness to God's will and thought, purpose and action. One more announcement. We have a prayer request link on the upper right-hand corner. Please send us your prayer request. You we never get enough at BrianChewitt.com, BrianChewitt.com. We also have an online store that you can also go there as well. And if you wish to send us a donation, you go to our on, online bank, our online store link at the bottom left corner of our website, and we have a contact where you can send the physical address, your physical check to our address here in Los Angeles, California. Again, we're walking by faith and not by sight. So let's all focus on our reality of our redemption with God because, yes, we are redeemed. We are on our way to being baptized by water. We are on our way to sing of the living truth of God. Revelation 19.13. This may sound familiar from our Revelation series. He is dressed in a robe but died by dipping in blood and the title by which he is called, he is, called is the word of God. Standing on the Word of God. Standing on all the issues that we do have. This is a verse I want you all to memorize tonight. Matthew twenty four thirty five. Sky and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. 
in Jesus name in Jesus name we sing this Lord to you we sing this love to you we come unto you every day and every every moment right now we sing of the truth the truth brings us to each and every power of your love we sing God Acts chapter 2 verse 38 then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy, Holy Ghost. And for those of us in Southern California, I shall give you this. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with all thy countenance. Acts chapter 2 verse 28. Let us all make our acts to the stronger of the countenance that God is blessed with not what, what circumstances that, that have blinded us through the ways of man. Baptize every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come into this time, our endless realm of your love, for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. For in the matchless name of Jesus, singing, the, singing this loud and clear, singing of this moment as we express ourselves right now. Lord, we love thee. We lay our hearts before you. Are you the reason why we live? Yes, from the secrets of our hearts. I love that song. I love that song. There was a song that we had in one of our first auxiliaries that I was a part of many years ago in the Garden of Eden, Western New York. We sing of this time. We sing of this glory. We sing of this nurturing truth right now. James chapter 1 verse 22. But ye doers of the word are not merely listeners to, to it betraying yourselves into deception by reasoning contrary to the truth. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Yes, your law is within my heart. Psalms chapter 40 verse 8. Power. You shall receive. The anointing of the appointment of the word by, by the power of Jesus Christ as you stand on the word of God. The exercise of your self-control, the peace of tranquility, just the long-suffering meaning of the patience and the willingness to stand fast and to die in the name of Jesus. Come unto us, O oh God. Let us all feel the change of the glory of your truth. Let us all feel the moment coming to us now. Lord, take me. Lord, love me. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours, O oh God. Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be thou, be that goes forth out of my mouth, that shall not return to me, and will not produce any effect unless, but it shall accomplish that which I please and purpose and propose and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Oh, jo oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, we love you. Come into us. Love us. Change us. Bring about this change into our lives ever some more. Bring the beautiful truth of our love, Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. We come to you with the full embrace of our touch. Giving all that you have given us tonight, this morning, O oh God. The power of standing on the word of God. The principalities of the power. We are defeating our dark power everything that comes up against us. Let them come up against us. In any manner, shape, or form, we are ready. Please spend all your energy laughing at me. I want you to. Okay? I want you to. You want to fight and you think I'm a nice guy? <laughs> I'll show you how Jesus trained me. 
and yes, peace and love, forgiveness for everyone, but touch not that anointed and do thy prophets no harm. And guess what? I do have to forgive everyone. Despite my past, I have to forgive everyone, and I have. And guess what? That's how I take you down, by forgiving you and loving you, in Jesus' name. And with this, brothers and sisters, I drive them crazy. Those caught up in the dark shadows of the lust, those caught up in their pathetic lies of, of deceit and, and power hungry without knowing how wicked and deceitful they are. These are the people that they take themselves down. They really, you know, they've already experienced their hell's fire and sinner's court for a thousand years and eternity. They're doing pretty good already. But with this were that love, were that truth, with everything that we do have, we have this power of eternity, birthed by standing on the Word of God. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this message by of standing on the Word of God. Going forth through the whispers of the wind, standing on all four corners of the world, teaching and proclaiming the Word of God. We send forth this message through, through the whispers of the wind to go and anoint all teachers, all prophets, all ministers to proclaim the living word of God, to lift up our repentance and our prayers as you pour your new mercies upon this AM hours and the PM hours here in North America. We bless those in the Pacific Gulf region, I mean the Gulf of Mexico region, of safety, of wisdom, of discernment, to be steadfast in your prayers to be hunkered down through the living Word of God and to heal those around us who can use this storm to rise up a standard against Satan in Jesus' name. We thank you for the tribulations. We thank you for the joy, hope, faith, and love. We thank you for the long-suffering which has brought us to Galatians chapter 22, verse 23. All nine cylinders of these spirits working for us in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one mind and one judgment of Christ, we thank you for the bestowment of financial resources, O oh God. Now you bless us and deeper and deeper into moving into your path of, of a bigger and successful ministry. But we're lifting all for you, O oh God, because we are the vehicle. We, and you, we are just the vehicle and you work through us. We are blessed by you, O oh God, as we raise the praise of your name in Jesus' name. Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this evening from Los Angeles, California. And a good morning to you and good day to you in all parts of the world. I'm Brian Hewitt. On behalf of my beautiful wife, Anita Hewitt, we invite you to join us at BrianTewitt.com to stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianTewitt.com, BrianTewitt.com. We thank you for your time. Until next time, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people.